What is going on guys? Welcome back to Motorfest. So today is indeed Wednesday, which means the new summon is now live. And for this week, we have the Showstopper Spy Thriller Classic. Keep in mind, this one is also going to have the Thin Line Trail Smoke, which is kind of cool. It's also going to be a gold reward, so I would almost guess everybody wants the Ivory Tower Azus. Or is it Azius? Azius? I could probably go on with this all day. Nonetheless, though, we can all agree this car is going to look absolutely insane. Like, I love it. It is going to be an upgraded version of the other one in the game as well. So, nothing insanely special there. But I would say it is going to be a pretty fun car to drive. You also get to drive it in the Summit, which is going to be the top left event right here. So, I would say a lot of players are probably going to test it out and go, you know what? I definitely need this vehicle. This thing is absolutely insane. I personally would say the interior looks great. I love the outside look of it. And I really do like the overall design of that car. Plus in this event, I would say a lot of players are most likely going to enjoy it. Keep in mind though, you can't add anything to the vehicle like settings or any parts. But I don't think it needs it because it's that good. Now I do want to go over the three skills here before I get into the rest of the events. Now all three of these are going to be the bullseye type of skills so you're most likely going to have to switch vehicles in each one of them. Whether it's going to be a ground vehicle of your choice of course running a score breaker. After that you're then going to have to use a power boat or a plane. Now for this guys I would recommend trying out the vector. This thing is absolutely incredible. But I would say with a score breaker set you could probably run any of the boats. I really feel like they're probably all going to be fairly similar. And then for the other ones, you're also going to have to use a plane. Now for this, if you are looking for something slick, I would say the slick aircraft. Wow, I really just cracked that joke. But nonetheless though, the slick aircraft really is going to be a great overall option. Now for this though, you can start in a ground vehicle, switch to a plane. And then for the end, you can also go back to a ground vehicle. But I was like, you know what? Which in some ways though, I would say it is probably going to come down to preference. Like you don't have to go back into the ground vehicle, but I would say a plane is a bit easier. The biggest thing about this one is probably going to be the traffic toward the end of the objective. And then for the final bullseye though, you will then have to use a ground vehicle once again. So make sure you are picking something that can off-road. Don't get me wrong though, you can easily pick something like a Bugatti because they do work. But you're going to have to use a ground vehicle, switch to a powerboat, and then go back to a ground vehicle. But the end of it is going to be off-road. But besides that though, moving over to the next event here, you will then have to run the lovely Aston Martin Vulcan. You know what's kind of funny is I really haven't ran this car much in the past, but you know what? After this event guys, I am definitely going to be trying it out more. Not only does it handle great, it also does 267 miles an hour in the racing category. That is going to be pretty dang fast considering, well... Most of the other racing cars do around 260 or so, so like, yeah, the Vulcan is going to be a bit quicker. The big thing here, though, is be careful around those corners and go as fast as you possibly can coming out of them. And then for the next event, though, is going to be a no restriction powerboat event. I also think it's going to be the first powerboat event we've seen in a summit. Could be wrong, but I feel like a lot of players are probably going to go, oh man, not a powerboat. Do not worry though guys, the events in this one aren't that terrible. For this one, it is going to be a no restriction. Now I did end up picking the Proto WR1. If you are wondering what is going to be the best powerboat, that is easily going to be the Vector V40R. That thing is incredible. And you're most likely going to notice basically everyone running it. Do not worry though, you can also run other powerboats like the WR1 or even something like the 1414 Demon. And then for the next two events here, you're then going to have to run a plane. Which I would almost say everybody is not going to like the plane or the powerboat events. I have to admit though guys, the plane events are going to be incredibly easy. Like, not even kidding here, a Nitro Chemist set, which I would recommend here, Pure and Extra Pump. And the reason I do say that though is for both of the events in the Summit, you are aiming at having the most speed that you possibly can get. So having as much Nitrous is going to pretty much make you a lot quicker. Who knew, right? What a crazy concept. But besides all that, guys, I do want to mention tomorrow I am planning on dropping the best part build you can actually run for the planes, specifically for the events. And then moving over to the final event this summit is going to be a powerboat event in the lovely Offshore Mark 1. Now for this, guys, I would say this event is going to be fairly interesting. What's kind of funny, though, is this is going to be the Yacht Surfing event, which I did end up grinding out. And going after like the main chemist builds for the power boats. I jumped in and I was like wait a minute I recognize this probably because I did it for 5 hours. 
But nonetheless, though, on this event, a few tips I can give here. So number one, running a chemist build and also having the ventilated perk on your driver points is going to be incredibly useful for a couple of reasons. Going over small waves or even like the slightest big wave, you're going to get a lot of nitrous back. And on top of that, guys, I did notice on this event, if you are looking to be a lot faster, try to hit that nitrous while going over the waves. Like, the second you hit them, hit the nitrous in the air, you're then going to get like a big burst of speed. That way you're going to be a lot quicker. If you're actually hitting that nitrous, like just going over the water, it is going to make you slower. Which I would say is going to be odd because you would think like a powerboat is faster, you know, in the water. Not in the air because it's not a plane, but hey... I guess the power boats really are going to be great for flying over the waves. And if you can't actually land in them, it's also going to make you that much quicker. Besides all that, guys, I would say a lot of players are most likely going to like this summit. Even though it's going to be one of the first summits with some power boat and also some plane events.